Pokemon Black Nuzlocke is the name of the game, Vakanine TCG is the name of the channel, and Alex is me. Welcome back everyone to our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Episode 2. Today I am hoping we can get to Striaton City and maybe take on a gym leader, but we also do have several more encounters. Obviously the first episode of this didn't go so great as we lost on the first serious battle. I don't intend for that to happen again. Um, where we left off was... We had a an AA Ron, an Aaron, and Bogey 2, the Torchic. Uh, I very happy with what Torchic has because with the randomized randomized abilities in this playthrough, we got Regenerator, which restores HP when withdrawn from battle. That should be incredibly helpful as we continue on the run. Um, AA Ron right now is just in the front of my party for some training purposes. So north of the town we are in, Nuvema Town, we will be able to get a new encounter in Route 2. Uh, so I think we might want to head there now, get the new encounter, and then I can cut for a little bit of training. We do need to level up a bit to make sure our Pokemon are ready for the first battle. There's also a, a uh, rival battle that's going to be coming up up ahead. So, ooh, okay, yeah, let's, uh, oh, okay, let's first answer our phones. What do you have to tell me? It's mom. I think she's, ah! Vaca9, that is me. Oh, thanks for the running shoes that I already put into this game. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to dodge this trainer and get our encounter before I do anything else. As far as... Okay, there we go. Now, can I get to that Pokeball before the encounter? Either way, this is going to be a new encounter on Route 2. Go! Got it. It's a tiny little mushroom. What a lame thing to get. Let's just go for it. Let's see what we get in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, ooh, Lombre. That's actually pretty useful. I don't know where we're going to find Evolution Stones, but we already have Torchic, which is fire, and this would cover our grass and water need. And Ludicolo is bulky enough for a playthrough or a Nuzlocke. So we will be going to catch this Lombre, right? hopefully without getting... Ooh. Ooh, okay, its ability is Gluttony. That's not very useful. Whoa, okay, maybe I can just catch it. I did not... I got a critical hit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Gluttony is not a super useful ability. It makes it so that you can't eat berries, I don't think. Or it makes it so the berries happen sooner? I forget. Well, we caught it. We'll take a look at what it looks like, and for now I'm going to have to train up everything we can because we don't want to run into a legendary Pokemon with some random trainer and then die. But I'm not a huge fan... Oh, of course we're giving him a nickname. So he's going to... Evolve into Ludicolo, who is a dancer. Let's name him Jazz. And when I'm naming him Jazz, I immediately think of the Transformer Jazz, who gets killed in the first Transformers movie. <gasps> I want to get out of the grass. Darn it. Oh, uh, we're not going to be able to run from a Duck Trio. It is fast. Oh, no. Should I just go for the kill? Let's just go for the kill and hope we don't die. It's going to sand attack us. That's not fun. That means we're going to start missing left and right. Depending on how much this... Oh, okay, we can take it down. So this is good, though, because Doug Trio allows for some EV training on speed. And then in the route with Blaziken, we can EV train pretty easily on attack. Um, neither of those things are things I want Lombre to have. The Lombre I want to special... I want to train on special attack probably and maybe HP. I'll have to see what uh, Lombre gets, gives for EVs. EVs. Whatever, we have more encounters coming. For now, I'm just going to train up the Pokemon by level. Okay, level 8 AA Roan, that works for me. We learned by Slap, that's very helpful for our upcoming gym battle. Um, I don't want to battle you. And, daha, sucker. Let me get back here and heal. Let's check out our Lombre. I will then train up all of our Pokemon just a little bit so that we can safely make it to the next town. Um, I'll probably not have you watch me do all the battles, but, uh, oh yeah, let's fast forward through all the healing and such. Forgot that was a button. And Jazz, let's check you out. Gluttony encourages the- okay, it makes the berry happen earlier. Lower special defense, raised defense. That is borderline pointless on a Lombre. But we can't really complain because this is a Nuzlocke and we had to catch the first encounter. So, uh, let me go ahead, train everybody up just slightly, especially Jazz, so that we can 
like I said, not die, and then we will continue on to Striatin City. Well, everyone's level 11 now, so we are finally ready to travel along to Battle Bianca. Eventually. After this grass. Where there's a Doug Trio that I would like to run away from. <gasps> Please don't kill me. Okay, we're safe. No! Stop it! I'm trying to get to the traitor. Okay. Whew, now we can get to the next town, eventually. First, we're gonna battle this little kid, though, and kick his butt. <gasps> it's Alex! That's me! Okay, first one. Level 8. Okay, the levels are a little higher than I thought they would be, which is a little concerning. We have the type advantage for now, but still concerning a little bit. That gives us a lot of experience, though. And he only had one Pokemon. Okay, so we're good there. Um, I believe down here... Oh, I don't want to jump off the ledge. Wait, what? Whoa, oh, ah, bye! I'm not jumping. Ha, <laughs> loser. I don't just follow people off cliffs. Do you want to talk to me? Okay, he doesn't want to do anything with me. <laughs> she does, though. Hello, gal! Chloe! Is this from the new series? Another bug type? Part rock this time, but as long as it... It could self-destruct, though. I'm going to play it safe rather than sorry, and I'm just going to go to AA round because if it does self-destruct, I don't want a chance of losing bogey. Bogey 2 at that, I should say. And am I smart or am I a genius? It's one of the two, right? I'm either smart or I'm a genius. It does nothing to AA round. And now bogey 2 gets level 12. Perfect. If you want to send the fan mail about how great I am, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh... I don't want to get killed in this grass. <gasps> oh, oh my. It's only level 4, but I would have loved to have Mega Man back on the squad. We should be able to kill it in one shot with Ember. I would like this experience. If he gives attack or special attack EVs, that will be fine. Alright, easy peasy. Let's get through this grass. There's one more trainer up ahead. Ugh. Lucario, which I will, again, I will be satisfied by taking the experience from you, and... Oh my god, this grass is unbelievable. The Doug Trios freak me out, but it does give speed EVs, so let's, uh... Yeah, we can two-shot this thing. <laughs> Growl at me. Nope, you avoid it, and there's a try attack which is a little scary, but that's fine. Now nah, we're out of the grass. Okay. I think we have one more trainer, probably, and then Bianca. I don't... I'll make sure we're fully healed. <gasps> Crockerock. Luckily for us, this is a Crockerock. However, I have a secret weapon now. You see, Jazz, he's level 11, and he wants to hit this Crockerock with a little dance step. And by dance step, I mean absorb, because why would I use a dance step on a crocodile? Maybe it would work. Okay, so first I can go with the fake out. This is going to help us a lot through this playthrough. Bam. Oh! Okay, it's Rage's building. It flinched. We're good, we're good. Then I go with the little bit of Absorb, and now that we've already got the Fake Out damage, this m did not one-shot. I was planning for it to one-shot. So, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um... Absorb again. Alrighty. Now, that's my secret weapon right there. The Absorb Fake Out Jazz. Bogey is flying up levels. I think we are comfortable to face Bianca. For safety reasons, I am going to make sure to heal. I have plenty of potions. I went to the store. Wait, we only have to heal two on AA run. Um, and let us see if Bianca is... Oh wait, what's over here? Oop, oop. Oh, items? Comet Shard, that'll get us money. And... Oh my god! <laughs> is... Is a Water Stone what we need to evolve Ludicolo to Ludicolo? We're not that lucky right in the beginning, are we? Oh my god, we are! Oh, that is so excellent! Okay. So now, I'm not gonna evolve him yet, because I don't know if Ludicolo learns any useful moves, so we need to level up with Lombre first, but... Oh, we are in so much better shape now. And there's Bianca. I cannot believe the chances. It's totally... So for anyone who maybe had missed the first episode for some reason, we did randomize the item locations. 
But we found a water stone on the first, second route of the game. And we found a Lombre, so I'm in a good mood until I just saw what she's going to send out against us, which is a Gurler. Rip Vakanine. Um, definitely can't kill that with a Torchic. Oh, man. Ground Ghost. We have to go to Jazz here. I don't feel great about it. We can't hit it with Fake Out. Okay, it just knows Pound, maybe. So if we just keep absorbing, I think we are fine. And we get a lot of experience once we kill it. Okay, yep, it's just gonna go Pound. I don't know if it knows anything but Pound, and we're gonna hope it doesn't. Another Absorb. Alright, good, good. That's an Astonish. I don't like to see that so much. But! Oh, she has potions! She must only have one, though. I can't imagine they give her multiple healing items in the beginning of the game. That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous! Okay, it does have another move. It has Defense Curl. Unfortunately, raising your defense will not work against a special attack. And she hasn't even seen my secret weapon yet. Hey! You can't live with one! I'm gonna hope no more potions. Okay, no more potions. Good. Uh, what did Bianca start with? Was it... What were the other starter options? I don't even remember. You see, it's been a week since I filmed, and my memory's not the best. So you're gonna have to forgive me there. Jazz ranking up on the defensive side. Bogey getting more experience. Ah, yes, the Oddish. The Bianca's the one who chooses the Pokemon weak to us. Um, rather than stay in and mess around, let's just go straight over to Bogey. He is a fire type. I think it's a he anyways. It's a girl Bogey. Okay, hello, female. We should have called her Bogey, because Bogey would be boy, and Bogey would be girl. In, like, a Spanish sense, you know, the O is boy, A is girl, O and A, not in a, any other sense you might have understood that as. Uh, yeah, let me just go to the next town and pretend none of this ever happened, maybe. Welcome to Striaton City, everybody! So this mean guy is telling me I have to go to the trainer school to battle the gym leader, which isn't necessarily the nicest thing, because I don't want to go to the trainer school. I consider myself... Oh, an item. <laughs> Squirrel. Dragon Fang. Hello, hello. I'm starting to worry we're going to have... Starting to worried. I'm going to start to worry that we're going to run into some really easy situations with the randomized items, but where I'm going first before we do any gym battles is this is the Dream Yard. In the Dream Yard, there are a couple trainers, but there's also the opportunity if I... Okay, I'm starting with Bogey right now. There's also the opportunity to get a gift Pokemon and an encounter, so we can add two more Pokemon to our team here. Uh, let me go ahead and battle the first Lass. She's got two Pokemon, and... Oh, that's a Dialga. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. Ember is going to be effective, but if, Dial if Dialga knows Roar of Time or something insane... Sorry, I'm like choking because I'm so worked up over this. I think we need to test the waters and throw some Mud Slaps at it before we do anything with our starter. Oh, man. Level 9 Dialga. What does it have? Scary face, that all that does is slow us down. Doesn't matter on AA Ron. Okay, mud slap. This should lower attack. Does it only know scary face or is it or is the AI really smart trying to uh slow us down all that speed speed stuff? Um Okay, it knows Metal Claw. That won't be super effective against either of our other Pokemon, so that's good. If I hit it with a bunch of mud slap, it knows Dragon Breath, that is worse, but also it's not Dragon Rage, so that's good. I think I'm gonna stay in with AA Ron in case anything else wild happens, like a paralysis. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Um, after that much accuracy drop, I think I'm gonna go Jazz next. Because Jazz will fake out and get a little bit more damage. Yep, Dialga's gonna miss. We're gonna go Fake Out. Bam. 
Get a little chip damage, and now it flinches. Now, my secret power, nature power, is going to turn into seed bomb, because we are in grassy areas. And that didn't do anything. Um, let's growl at it. That should lower its attack or defense, right? Yeah, defense. Nope, that... If I could read, that said attack. Uh, let's keep doing this in circles. Now let's go to bogey. Because we're going to need to throw some embers at it. I think with its lowered attack and accuracy, we're fine to switch in. Yep, okay. And we're in an ember. And that should hopefully do at least half of what's left. It did. One more attack and we're good. It missed. Alright, you see, I was worried for nothing. There was no reason to panic. Dialga is nothing. We have bogey to the legendary conqueror. Gonna have to rename her into the Legendary Conqueror at some point. Jazz gains a level, Bogey gains a level, hey, Aaron doesn't gain a level. And then, wow, this lass is... She has way too strong of Pokémon for this area of the game. She needs to head straight to the Pokémon League and take them on. Sunny Day against a Fire-type is weird, because that helps us, but I will take it, because... A little extra boosted power for Bogey, no one ever complained about. We will take all that experience, be almost level 15. We may evolve? Nope, not yet. Okay. Level 16 for Bogey is when we'll evolve. I don't really want to be too overleveled going into the gym. So let me switch to Aaron. Use this potion. And there's one more trainer, I think, in this area. Yep, here it is. And that, that little girl to the right is going to give us a free Pokemon, which I can't complain about whatsoever. Oh my god! That is an Arceus! Why are the trainers in the Dream Yard so powerful? Are we gonna die? Okay, definitely Mud Slap. What is Punishment do? Is that gonna kill me? What is Mark? It has levitate! Well, now it doesn't, because I just swapped with it. Thank you, Aaron. So, by the most lucky situation possible... Seismic Toss is going to do the same level as him. What level is he? Eight? Okay. Okay, so let me just talk you through this. Arceus had levitate. Therefore, Mud Slap would have missed. But, because of our ability money, when Arceus hit us with his attack, and it's setting up to kill me, that's great... When Arceus hit us with its attack, it gave us Levitate, so now we can't get hit by ground attacks, and it can. Therefore, allowing Mudslap to hit and absolutely conquering the Arceus. I don't know what is going on in this dream yard, but... Okay, why is this thing getting so powerful? Stop it, Arceus. I mean, it's just its attack it's raising. I mean, it's defense and special defense, but... <sighs> it's gonna be a long battle. One more mud slap, make sure its accuracy is as low as it can go. It's barely doing anything. Now let's try headbutts, because that will hopefully make it flinch. Well, unless we attack second, then it's never gonna flinch. Come on. Okay, it's gonna start missing. I cannot believe. We're ba we battled a Dialga and an Arceus. And I don't want to lose a Pokémon, so let's go to Jazz. Uh, seismic Toss and Miss, that's good. Now we go for Fake Out, which will buy us a turn. A critical hit! And now it gave us money, and it has Gluttony. But now we're going to go for Nature Power, and I think our Seed Bomb Nature Power will kill it, I think? I think? Yes, okay. Whew, deep breaths, that was an Arceus. Hey, Aaron, level 12. Good. And he has one more Pokémon, but this time it's just a Rock-type. Thank God, that will be an easy kill with Nature Power. Oh my God, the Stream Yard! If we weren't over-leveled a little bit, we would have been... Goners! Okay, he has Keen Eye. Does that raise accuracy? I don't know, but let's just absorb. Oh my god, this is stressful. Maybe it's not watching, so it looks easy, but my god, my heart is pounding. 
we're almost at the end of this episode. I still have a... Why do you have another Pokemon? Oh my god! Um, I guess we're gonna keep going with nature power. We don't have anything flying or fighting yet to take on Scra- Oh! <gasps> it has huge power! And it just kicked us. Holy crap! We need to find a Scraggy. So huge power, the ability doubles attack, and Scraggy already has great defense and a pretty high attack. So a... Oh my god. <sighs> okay, we're gonna kill it because we go first. Oh my god, I thought we missed for a second. Oh my god, that was terrifying. <sighs> <sighs> that was nuts. Just in case any sneaky people come to uh, attack us, <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and heal. That was horrible. That was... That's what this whole playthrough is going to be like. When we're at higher levels, those legendaries are going to have great attacks. Yikes. Okay, what do we get? So up here there's an item. It's a Pokeball. That's pretty fun. We can't get to the grass yet, because there's a cone in the way. So let's just get our special Pokemon. So, for anyone who doesn't know, in a non-randomized version, this lady would give us the... Stop walking around. This lady would give us the elemental monkey. So Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan, Pan Poor. That is weak against our starter, because that would make it strong against our opponent starter, our rival starter, and the gy upcoming gyms Pokemon. But being a randomizer, she's just going to try to give us anything that... She's going to give us what she thinks is helping us, but it's a completely different Pokemon. So let's just see. Torchic, really? <gasps> Leafeon could be a big help. Yes, I want Leafeon! <gasps> oh, baby! Oh, yes. And we are calling Leafeon... Where is it? Blade. Leafeon will be named Blade. No! Did that say Bladfa? Leafeon, are you named Bladfa? Oh my god, Leafeon is named Bladfa. Alright, well, welcome to the team, Bladfa the Leafeon. Oh, and its nature stinks. Wait. Big Pex protects the Pokemon from defense lowering attacks. How does that... I thought Big Pex was better pecking moves. Oh, Leafeon. Uh, this isn't actually that useful because its attack is what's good. But unfortunately it has a, na a negative attack nature. But it raises its special defense, so I guess it's a little stronger. Now it just knows Tackle and Sand Attack. This Leafeon is pretty meh, so we'll keep it for now. But I don't think I'm going to bother training it up yet. I kind of like our Lombre. Especially since we have that Leaf Stone, or Water Stone, or whatever it is that evolves Lombre. Um, I think we have a couple more things to do. We need to come in here and heal again. I should check the item shop. Because uh, we've randomized the special item shop, so in every single city, the secondary items are going to be something unique. I actually... I might have... Excuse me, I just hiccuped. Um, so let's see what this guy has for us. Max Repel, Cit Citrus Berry is good because we can give that to somebody, Heart Scaler. Ultra Ball, okay, okay, I can get behind the Ultra Ball. Claw Fossil, we can recover a Pokemon. We could technically do as many- oh, we don't have money for a Claw Fossil. Okay, we'll come back for that. So I randomized the shops, but I made sure to also have the dollar amounts of the items reflect their value. So, uh, ooh, Rose Incense would also be useful. This plate would be helpful. A lot of this would be helpful. Um, let's see if we can sell some items. Hold on. Yes, sell. We have enough potions for now, Tim. Dragon Fang will keep. Waterstone will keep. Comet Shard we can get. Wait, you won't buy that? Only Maniacs will buy that? That's lame. Will you take the Tiny Mushroom? Okay, thank you. We don't have a ton of money. Pokeballs don't get us much either. And we don't have any TM attacks. So we can't buy much right now. I guess we'll have to stick with Pokeballs for the moment. Um, I want this Claw Fossil. 
Focus Sash, if it has full HP, the holder will endure a one-hit potential KO attack. For safety reasons, I am going to buy that and give it to our bogey. Just in case we get hit by a wildly powerful attack. Out of nowhere. Like, we had an Arcus battle. Arceus, for those who don't know what that is. Okay, I give you the Focus Sash. Good. Um, that way we can live with one HP. Uh, now we go to the Trainer School, which will... Where, where's the Trainer School? Is this the Trainer School? This looks like the Trainer School. We'll finish up the Trainer School, and then we'll have to save the Gym Battle for the next episode. What does this guy say? Uh, okay, I don't care. Hello, Sharon! Yeah, I'm looking for the Gym Leader. Yes, let's have a battle! That's exactly what I want to do in here. Da, 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 da. Liliana! Oh, I randomized the names of people. I forgot about that. That's funny. Trainer Liliana. It's not Sharon, it's Liliana. <gasps> Apom! That's my boy! I'm a big Apom guy. If you watch my Pokemon card openings, you know that already. Let's just headbutt it. Go for the, uh... You can't make it flinch because it's gonna go first. I guess the headbutt thing with AA run doesn't work great because it's never going to attack first, most likely. I don't care what he ever just... Whatever he just said to me, I ignored. Yeah, it look, it's looking like the uh, silent gym battle... Oh, let's see. Apom's ability, no guard. I think no guard makes attacks that do damage and have secondary effects. I think it makes their attack stronger, but the secondary effect goes away. If that's the right ability I'm thinking about. And we flinch because he was astonished. Apom's pretty- I kind of want to go find an Apom now. I would love a no-guard Apom. Take some big old powerful- No, wait, I lied. No-guard is the ability I think that attacks are guaranteed to hit for both them and us. So it's good if you have a Pokemon with attacks that miss a lot. You can use no-guard, which will one-hit KO things if you have, like, a Fissure no-guard Pokemon. Uh, okay, for Rock and Roll, let's Mud Slap you. We do get to attack first. Super effective and lower accuracy, and it's gonna it's gonna hit us right back with that accuracy lowing move. Lowing. The lowing move. Let's slap again. One more, maybe two more will do it. Oh my god, stop doing it back. You know what? I'm not even gonna deal with that. I'm gonna go straight into jazz. Take a tackle, and we'll go with an absorb. This should one shot it. Yeah, okay. There's Jazz, a Aaron level up. Nope, doesn't. 900 bucks? I'll always take some money. Oh, here, Valkanine, I'll give you these orange berries. I'll take some orange berries, thank you very much. Um, where's the gym leader, though? They said. They said Silen was in here. The heck? the guy gone from outside. Hey, there he is! Hi, Silent. Alright, you want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? See, it's weak against water types? Ha! <laughs> oh, wait, it is, because we have Torchic. How'd he know? What? This guy's a genius. thought he was a grass-type trainer, but heck, I think he's a psychic! <laughs> Bazinga! Uh, that's actually going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we will start off right away with a gym battle. I will make sure our Pokemon are at adequate level without going too high. Uh, maybe I'll level up, level up our Bladfa, our Blade Bladfa Leafeon. We'll see. Either way, gym battle next time. Thank you always for watching. Good night.